James had not seen the fat controller for several days. He was left alone for being naughty and was not even allowed out to push coaches and trucks in the yard. Oh dear, he thought, I shall have to stay in the shed for always and no one will see my red coat again. All because I went so fast I made a hole in one of my coaches that had to be mended with, of all things, a passenger's boot lace. At last the fat controller arrived. I see you are sorry, James, he said. I hope now that you will be a better engine. You have given me a lot of trouble. People are laughing at my railway and I don't like that at all. I'm very sorry, sir, said James. I will try hard to behave. That's a good engine, said the fat controller. I want you to pull some trucks for me. James was delighted and puffed away. Here are your trucks, James, said Thomas. Have you got some bootlaces ready? And he ran off laughing. said the trucks. We want a proper engine, not a red monster. James took no notice and started as soon as the guard was ready. Come along, come along, he puffed. We won't, we won't, screamed the trucks. But James didn't care and he pulled the screeching trucks sternly out of the station. Trucks tried hard to make him give up, but he still kept. Trucks would slip on, and sometimes their axles would run hot, and each time the trouble had to be put right. And each time James would start again, determined not to let them beat him. Give up, give up, you can't pull us, you can't, you can't call the trucks. I can and I will, I can and I will, puffed James, and slowly but surely he pulled them along the line. At last they saw Gordon's Hill. Look out for trouble, James, warned his driver. We'll go fast and get them up before they know it. Don't let them stop you. So James went faster and soon they were halfway up. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, he panted. Will the top never come? Then, with a sudden jerk, it all came easier. I've done it, I've done it, he puffed. Hooray, it's easy now. But his driver shut off steam. They've done it again. We've left our tail behind. Look. The last trucks were running backwards down the hill. The coupling had snapped. But the guard stopped the trucks and got out to warn approaching engines. That's why it was easy, said James, as he backed the other trucks carefully down. What silly things trucks are. It might have been an accident. Shall I help you, James? called Edward. Uh, no, thank you, answered James. I'll pull them myself. Good. Don't let them beat you. You're doing well, whistled Edward, as James slowly struggled up the hill. I can do it, I can do it, he puffed. He pulled and puffed as hard as he 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 could, 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 could. 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 I've done it, I've done it, he panted. They reached their station safely and James was resting in the yard when Edward pulled up. Peep, peep, he whistled. Then James saw the fat controller. Oh dear, what will he say, he asked himself. But the fat controller was smiling. I was in Edward's train and I saw everything, he said. You've made the most troublesome trucks on the line behave. After that, you deserve to keep your red coat. 